For years, David Adams was fighting an illness that hadn't yet been identified. No, you can't fight your enemy unless your enemy has a name, right, I think they say. And, and that's sort of the way we felt. Now, it does have a name. Vexus syndrome, an inflammatory disorder caused by mutations in the UBA1 gene of blood cells and acquired later in life, according to the National Institutes of Health. It can cause painful skin rashes, pain and swelling of the ear and nose, cough and shortness of breath, joint swelling and pain, and inflammation of vessels. Patients often have fever and extreme fatigue. That was freeing. It really was incredibly freeing to have the diagnosis. A new study published in the Journal of the American Medical Association finds Vexus syndrome is more common than previously thought. Researchers believe it affects more than 13,000 men and about 2,300 women in the U.S. If you're an older individual with low blood counts, systemic inflammation, hasn't been able to get a diagnosis and requires steroids, we think you should go out and talk to your doctor about getting genetic testing for UBA1 and Vexus syndrome. Right now, there's no standard treatment for Vexus, but the inflammation may be treated with steroids and other immunosuppressants. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither.